Germany last year. I studied in the Dessau and Student Architecture. It's an international institution and we go international students from all over the world, 40 different nationalities, and it's located right beside the Bauhaus, <laughs> which is on the top left there. Um, this image was taken one day as they were repairing one of the balcony facades in the Bauhaus, and they just had um, stuck a load of MDF up and put some nails in it which was kind of funny. Um, so that's kind of what I'm talking about in this uh, presentation, is just like how people improvise with different things uh, that are already existing. Uh, so. uh, these are images from Teufelsberg in Berlin. Um, it's translated in English to Devil's Mountain. It was a listening tower from the Americans um, in Germany. And uh, they, yeah, so in these, Domes on the top, there's like, they listen there, so it's really uh, insulated and it sounds really good. And also, it's just an amazing kind of place that just blends into the landscape now that it's derelict. And people have started to build uh, within the structure, but you can't take photos of them or they take your camera, so I don't have any photos of this. Um, but from these photos, you can get an idea of the scale of the place and also like what could be possible there. Um, this image on the left is from a place called Princess and Garden in Berlin. Um, it's uh, basically a garden that they created above ground, so it's all just in um, plastic buckets and things. Um, but there's an interesting kind of sense of place that has been created by just this simple intervention within the city. Um, the second image is uh, of graffiti in Berlin. Um, Berlin is a type summer's person, which means that your face has freckles. Um, which is a comment towards the um, international nature of Berlin um, and the amount of immigrants that are coming in there. So it's in the Kreuzberg area in Berlin, which is kind of a segregated section of the city. Um, these images are also from Kreuzberg. The first image is of the kind of anarchist uh, artists that have come into Kreuzberg and they're literally behind a glass box. So this is just an image looking into a jewelry making place. Um, but they're also causing gentrification in the area. Um, the second image is of the back of um, in a courtyard in Kreuzberg where somebody has just put up a simple wall and number 12 and they've claimed part of the space. Um, so my project in the first semester was looking at a, a Tachelis, which is a building in Berlin. Um, which was a ruined building, but then some artists took it over and started squatting there and then created galleries. Now it's kind of gentrified again, which is like not really what they intended in the first place. Um, my proposal looked at using the rest of the site that's there, creating kind of um, a landscape that just meshes out into the city and kind of blurs the boundaries. So it's looking again at these previous images and how that can be translated into architecture. Um, in the second semester in Dessau, um, the studio which I took was called Maximum City and it was located in Istanbul. It was looking at cities with over 11 million people in them um, and what happens when this starts happening. Um, so we looked at a commercial strip that was there and then at what was happening with the sides of the commercial strip. So this was also a sort of a creative quarter that was being created but it's a slum area essentially. Um, so here on the left you see a building where people are actually living inside that um, but it's really just disgusting and the smells and the textures and everything in the area were just really really dirty but then on the right you see like the care of the people of the area actually rebuilding things um, and trying to make it better than themselves. Uh, so this was the same building on the left here and this is just somebody's like hanging their clothes to dry there but there was a drain uh, dripping down and then a building across the road where nature has just started to take over um, and reclaim that what's there. And these are also looking at buildings that were there but are now being reclaimed by nature once again. Um, the image on the left is looking at how like, people just work with what's there. So like these children are just playing with these handrails because they don't have anything else. Um, and then this tree that's just kind of taking over um, the streetscape. Uh, this image on the left is from Tarnabashi, another slum area in Istanbul, um, where this boy is just, like, he was really good at football actually. He's just playing with this cheap plastic ball, but he's like oblivious of the situation around him. 
Um, and the next image is of a woman just hanging out uh, clothes on a line that passes across the street. Um, and this was interesting, like in this area it was loads of this kind of, so when you look up there's a whole different view than you would normally have in the city. And um, the second image you can see the rich areas of the city behind in the background. Um, so my project in the second semester was in this area, but it was looking at how you could take some of these derelict buildings um, and create like porosity within the urban landscape and then redensify it so that the two groups of people were forced to live together. So that's it. <laughs>